Holy roly poly moly guacamole, it's Will Survives and I'm Scoobity Boot Bop Bat with another one. Hey, hey, hey. Just grab their bed and their toys. Oh, what's up, guys? What's up? What's up? Guys, I was gonna bring the food to you. Oh, shoot. No. Good boy, Hoop. Oh. Why is that camp? Nice. Okay. Holy shit, they cooked through it. Nice job, guys. Do you guys go pee? They will run out of water way less off. I might just figure out where I want to put that permanently. Screw it down somehow. Ooh, with those, yeah, with those, I don't know, long rubber gasket screws. And then try to figure out a way to mount the five gallon on it. And then it's money. Okay, this is now their bed arrangement. Dang, can't see it that good. I got a bed in my doghouse. Everybody's too big. Okay, I actually think the name is Aso, not Aso. I don't think it's Aso. That would be weird. But Aso, I think is a little bit bigger than Buck. But they're both gonna be big. Oh man, they're fluffy guys, dude. I uh, I got them the recommended brush. I'm gonna keep them brushed out. Okay guys, I am going to maybe finish Jesse's house today. Everything except for the cement board and the stove. Picked them up yesterday, I've already taught them come here. We're gonna do more training today. Hopefully get them to... Actually, we're just gonna train them on staying close by for now. Both dogs yesterday started humping. <coughs> Humping Hooper. So they they uh, have established dominance over Hoop Dog. That's kind of sad for Hoop. I'm sorry, buddy. Hoop, get him. Get him now while you still can. They're already just staying close by, hanging out. What's up, Also? Guys, it's Also, not Aso, I think. What up, Also? What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Yeah, guys, I think Also is definitely a little bit bigger than um the Mr. Buck. What's up, Buck? What's up, buddy? What's up, who? What's up, who? What's up, guys? Woo! Guys, I figured out the best spot to store stuff bathroom we only need like from here back so we got a four by four by eight space for storage right in the bathroom uh the phone for filming is charging i think i'm just going to work on this and show you guys progress updates and the little guys are still just hanging out or big guys Who's this? Oh, that's Buck. What's up, Buck? What's up, Aso? What's up, Hoop? Aso. Yeah. Get him, Hoop. Get him, Buck. Oh, shit. Two on one. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is awesome, guys. Guys, now while I'm building stuff, they are entertained, dude. Not messing with my stuff. And guys, these guys are uh, guardian dogs. So I am going to work on um, getting stuff for them to guard. Got to do a chicken coop and get chickens next week, guys. What do you think? When Jesse gets back, get some chickens for these guys to protect. Build them a house overlooking the chickens. Ooh! Ooh! Hey, hey, Buck, get out of there. Buck, Buck. That's where I pee, brother. That's just where I pee, dude. I have all this scrap lumber. I'm gonna try to make it happen with this. Oh yeah, guys, just keep playing, dude. Keep playing, oh my gosh. This is so cool, guys. So freaking cool. Bucket, um... No, not bucket. Also pooped fat dump 
in the cabin this morning, but he was letting me know that he had to poop. I was just slow getting to him. So that's good. They seem to be a little bit potty trained. They like hoop. Hoop likes them. Hoop's been super good with every single dog he's he's met, but they're they're doing good too. Wow. So sweet. So sweet. But hoop's a tank, dude. Honestly, they might never get stronger than hoop. Hoop Hoop can bench two plates easy. He's doing, he's revving it. He's doing like 10 reps with the 225 for sure. Honestly, these guys are gonna get strong too probably though. It's just cause they're walking up and down mountains all day. Look how cool, oh my gosh, look how cool Lucky's cabin looks. Oh man, it looks so sick. Oh, mine's coming along. Guys, one, okay. Burn all this. Build a wood kitchen in that kitchen while it's still up. And then once it's done, take that out. Boom. Yeah, it'll look sick. This is what I've got so far. Okay, this is how it's going. A little progress update. Okay. I can stack two totes high right there. Six waters can fit right there. Probably five or six gas cans can fit right there. Very nice. Still got the walkway to the bathroom. Big ballin'. Ooh, set up your phone while you're shitting. Bam. What up, also? You big boy. Big fluffy guy. Hey, where's Buck, dude? Where's Buck? Who? What are you doing? Oh, shit. Okay. I'd say that's a pretty good upgrade right there. Got room for about four gas cans at the bottom. About six water jugs, four totes. And I could always figure out a way to do storage right here if I need more. Guys, they are so good at listening. Okay guys, check it out. Are you joking? I was gonna call him. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna go into mortar and get that cement board for Jesse's house and pick up water and gas. Low on both. Thought I just might, might as well do that. Okay, truck bed empty. Uh, got the gas and the water in there. I'm gonna leave Hoop and the two pups in Derek's cabin, I think. Come here. Come here. But also, come here. Good boy. Come here. Good boy, also. Good boy, who? Come on, Buck. Need a drill. Did I leave it in? Yes. Bang. Bang. So, I'm gonna leave them in here. It's, they've got quite a bit of open room. I don't think, yeah, Hoop can take them. I'm not worried about Hoop getting hurt by them or them getting hurt by Hoop, really. Also, come here. Come here, buddy. Hoop. All right, they're all in the cabin. Uh, I don't hear any whining or nothing. I'm only gonna be gone for probably an hour. Let's, uh, let's see how they do. Lucky, sorry in advance if they poop. I'll clean it up. All right, got gas and water. Last step is getting that cement board. The, uh, the dogs are probably sad, but they're sad together, so who cares? We're back. Oh my God, let's go get them. What's up, Hoop? 
What's up, guys? They were probably happy in here. It's all cool and nice in here. What's up, guys? They didn't bully you, did they? Come here, buddy. Hi, bud. Hi, buddy. All right, I'm gonna unload this stuff and then bring that cement board up to Jesse's. Bam! Would you look at that? Four gas cans. Uh, could fit more gas cans under there if I needed. Can hold one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven water jugs, four totes. Stuff on top of the totes, what? Genius, this is gonna be sick. And I only gotta walk uh, 30 feet instead of 70 feet uphill. Up a muddy hill at that. Good boys. <sighs> Holy man, those are not light. I kind of messed up guys. This is definitely not big enough. I don't know why I was thinking that these were eight by four. <sighs> <sighs> But it'll help a little bit. Oh my God, is it gonna fit through the door? Oh no. Again, don't have my tape measure. Just gonna send it. All right, took my cane opener. Uh, drew a line right here. I'm gonna try to snap that off. Hopefully that snaps off. Shit. Okay, new plan. Bucket and hoop seem to play a lot. Also seems to sleep a lot right now. <laughs> Whoa, bam. All right, that should protect the wood from the stove. I'm gonna get some high temp sealant to get all the cracks in between here and all that. And then I think I'm gonna cover this with that uh, canvas tarp. I think it'll be far enough away from the stove that it won't catch. And I got extra anyways. Guys, this is really cool. Uh, also is just chilling. But Frank and, or not Frank, uh, Bucket and who are just chilling, dude. They're hanging out. Walking around, play fighting, exploring. Pretty sweet stuff. Whoa, bam. I'll do some, probably some high tent sealant, these cracks too. And then I got to figure out how to actually get the chimney through there. That's going to be tricky. It's very interesting that Bucket and Hoop became friends. And also is just kicking it by himself. Also, come on, let's go, buddy. Come here. Good boy, buddy. Good boy, also. Look at these guys. Also, go play with them. Look, they're having so much fun, dude. Dude, also has got huge paws, huge muzzle, huge face, dude. You got a big face, also. You got a big old face. Hey, come on. Buck. Who? Let's go. Come on. Come on, Buck. Good boy. Good boy. Who? Let's go. Come here. Good boy. Holy shit. It's honestly, it's weird that also isn't playing with him, but it's really good that he doesn't feel the need to be with them because he's going to be sleeping with Jesse. He's Jesse's pup, so. Puppy napping. Hey, but also. Currently taking a dump and just realized that um, I'm really hoping Bucket and also don't run away right now because I can't do nothing. 
They were good boys. Guys, okay. I need to clean up in here. I, I don't even like showing you guys in here, but I got to do it. This is what it looks like in here. It looks stupid. And it looks like I'm lazy. And very lazy. So I got to uh, fix this. First of all, if I'm getting a winch bumper, can I throw away this bumper? Or should I keep it? It is perfectly fine. Uh, is there any reason I should keep this? Should I just toss this? It's broken a lot right where it connects to the skidoo and I don't think it's fixable. The tent got blown the other day and all this stuff fell and I have not gone around to picking it all up. I gotta pick everything up. And then guys, I'm thinking of building a little kitchen Oh, I wasn't thinking with walls, though. Walls are the worst thing to build, guys. Hmm. Yeah, I got to do it. Got to do it. Kitchen right here. But I just build it, and it'll be a uh, it'll be pitched down like that. I'll just build it in here, and then when it's done, I'll take this down. Boom, baby. First, I'm going to walk around doing some maintenance. There's uh, trash being uncovered by the snow every day that it melts. So just going to do a quick, quick run. Okay, guys, I just went live to ask you guys what you thought. Uh, majority of people were saying toss the sled hood. Majority of people were saying keep the bumper for the truck. And then I saw a comment that said I should store it in the bus. And I was like, holy moly, that is probably the smartest thing I've ever heard in my life. So I'm going to store both these in the bus and anything else in the bus that I need to keep but don't have a use for it currently. Like that chair. So I'm going to start walking this stuff down. Throwing it in the truck bed, actually. It would have been a few trips. But I realized I'm actually going to just leave that uh, chair The van chair because oh my gosh I can use the van for storage I was about to park the van down by the bus once I got jumper cables I could just store everything in the van wow everything is cool okay because we are we do have plans for like the near future for the bus holy shit okay Oh, wow. All right, I'm just gonna unload the stuff right here outside the bus. No, I'll throw it in the bus. And then when I move the van down, I'll throw that stuff in the van. While I'm here, I'm gonna take down this tarp, get it cleaned up a little bit, make it look nice. Well, bam Beautiful. All right, got the truck parked up next to the van so I could jump that when I get the cables. And uh, yeah, before I move the van, and use it for storage. I gotta get all Jesse's stuff in his cabin. <sighs> not, not much. Here we go. Trip number one is jackets. All right, I'm gonna get some hooks up. What's up, Also? Ah, that's weird, guys. Also might. Like me more than Bucket, but Bucket might like hoop more than also. Dude, where's Bucket? You guys left Buck, dude? Oh no. What's up, Buck? What's up, buddy? Hi. What's up, guy? <laughs> Definitely got to brush him every day. Make sure their collar isn't getting matted over. Oh yeah, bud, what's up? 
Ah, guys, you guys are supposed to be outdoor dogs, dude. Outside. Bam, got the hooks up. And they're too low. Sweatshirt's touching the ground. Got to move them up, but there's six holes in the tarp now. Sweet. All right, that is better. All right, boom. All the jackets hanging up. Let's go check out what else we got to move up here. He was running these Christmas lights in the van, but I think he should do some solar paneled lights and ones that don't take as much power as these Christmas ones. So I'm gonna work on getting some of those. But there's not much else in here. Snowshoes, uh, hand warmer, machete, just little stuff. Shopping spree. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Picked them up some cool stuff. Got collars and everything. You guys are legit. They are legit. <laughs> oh man, I definitely see these guys being beluga size. Oh, for sure. Or for sure. more so than hoop, at least. <laughs> yeah, no, they're gonna get huge. They're doing good in the mud. What's up, buckets? Yeah, I'm not getting too muddy. No. Franklin, go say hi. Go say hi to your friend. Frank. Hi, Frank. What's up, buddy? What's up? What's up? Good boy, Buck. Buck, go play. Go play with Beluga. What's up, Baloo? Baloo! Bunch of dogs. Bunch of dogs. All white. They're all white. <laughs> Right? It's tough. I don't know what to do because they hang out a lot. So I'm always like, guys, come on. <laughs> They're just guys. <laughs> Frank. Frank, what's up, buddy? Frank. Hi. Hi, Frank. Ah, one toy. Go get. <laughs> guys, this is bad. Hooper is going through something. He doesn't look good at all. And his stomach's making crazy sounds. And he's not eating. He's been fine most of the day. You okay, bud? He's not okay. He's in pain right now, I think. Honestly, he doesn't look too good. Hi, bud. It's gonna be good, brother. It's gonna be okay. He's acting so weird right now. His stomach's going nuts. Hey, Frank. Guys, Hoop's being weird. You see him? See his eyes right there? He's just chilling over there. Uh. And his stomach's upset. I'm even offering him cheese and he's not, not taking it. And I'm scared, but he seems to want to hang out outside. I wish I had a fenced in area. But I've been hearing coyotes lately, so I don't want him hanging out. He is smart. I trust Tooper. But he's also sick right now. Can't move that well. I'm just going to stay up with him. He's not feeling good. But he hasn't complained at all. Like he hasn't whined or nothing. So if he starts showing signs of real discomfort... 
I will take action, but I'm thinking he should just throw up here pretty soon. He almost threw up a second ago, but he's just roughing it. He's thugging it out. I don't think he's feeling good at all. I feel, I feel terrible. I have no idea what it is. He got all the regular stuff, so he must have eaten something that he wasn't supposed to. Could have been one of these guys poop, honestly. He's eaten poop before. That would not be good. Oh, gosh. I have no idea. Come on, buddy. What's up, buddy? Damn. Come here, bud. Morning time. Gonna get shit done today. Hoop's still acting a little bit weird, but a little bit better, too. I wasn't hearing his uh, stomach growling as much. You guys need water, huh? <laughs> oh my God. He could just, I don't know. Be overwhelmed by two puppies that are both humping him. <laughs> I don't know, honestly. Not nah, something's, something's up. But I'm gonna keep monitoring him. So it is 623. I'm just going to wait till the sun comes over the hill. Should be just 30 minutes probably and then I'm going to go get it done. <laughs> What's going on guys? Man. Lucky Thrives came up yesterday to hang out. We didn't get much done. We were just kind of hanging out with the puppy dogs. That's why that uh, day kind of ended kind of abruptly. But I let this phone charge when I, while I went and uh, finished up Jesse's house and did that. Came back here edited this video got a bunch of nice cleaning done in the cooking tent that is coming along real good it's gonna look so much better here pretty soon hoop is doing a little bit better he's still acting a little bit funny but his stomach isn't going crazy and he doesn't look like he's in a bunch of pain i'm just gonna keep keep watching him i, I my best guess is he just got over really overwhelmed by all the dogs being here yesterday i think he's a little bit scared of beluga just because of how big beluga is he just got two puppy homies living with him two days ago he bonded with frank and then and then no more frank and then yesterday he just had the two new puppies and beluga and frank all at the mountain and he could have just got a little overwhelmed because he's slowly getting better and better and i don't know what he could have eaten that would make him act like this so we're gonna see if it gets any worse at all taking him to the vet but he is getting better the puppies are adjusting to their home amazingly that first day i was kind of scared that they had just had a mind of their own and would not listen to me they are wandering off everywhere but they follow me wherever I go they listen to me very well I've only uh, been working on come here the last two days and they have gotten amazing at it I think after another day or two of them just learning the land learning the schedule I'll start trying to train them with like sit and lay down and all that fun stuff. Jesse's getting back in three days. What is it? It's been like three weeks almost. I'm super happy about his setup, honestly. It's the perfect sleeping spot. He's not gonna be hanging out in there much. Uh, when we kick it, we'll probably kick it in here. And it's summer soon. We'll probably just be kicking it outside. But uh, it's great for sleeping. It's uh, He has more than enough room to stand up and change and store all of his stuff small enough that it'll stay warm easily 
is just, it's super sweet. I think he's gonna enjoy it way more than the van at least. I can't believe, Jesse, I can't believe you slept in a van all winter at 8,500 feet. Do you guys believe Jesse did that? I have so many projects now, guys. Planned. Holy moly, guys. We're getting the garden started. Garden starting to go. I got to build some garden beds. Um, I have the plan now for a fenced-in area for chickens and goats. Probably going to start with... Actually, I don't know how many chickens. Derek and Sierra. Lucky Thrives and... Lady Lucky are going to be bringing up some of their chickens. I don't know how much they're planning on bringing. But then I'll just probably get two goats. Build them a house. Build the chickens a house. Have a fenced-in area. Have the Build a dog house up on the hill right next to it so they can watch everything. It's all going to be pretty close to the cabin so I can help monitor also. Dude, I got to get an excavator up here. So I can flatten out that road. I got to order a couple trucks of gravel so I can gravel the whole road. Get that excavator up here where we're going to do the pond and dig out a pond. Build a little wall backfill. We got to probably make sure it can still run. I don't know actually how a pond will work. But we're going to try to do it. A spot to collect rainwater would be cool. I do not know. Oh yeah, in the kitchen, I want to build a kitchen out of logs in our current kitchen. That's going to be a super fun project. Ooh, Dad Survives is coming back in, I forgot, around April 7th. He's going to be coming down and he is going to be building his own little shelter somewhere. Uh, with only hand tools. He bought an auger and a handsaw, and he's gonna see what he can do. Uh, he bought a mic, he's gonna film everything. We're gonna try to put together a few YouTube videos or maybe one big YouTube video uh, that we're gonna post. I was originally thinking create an account for him, a YouTube account, but we might just uh, post that on my channel so all you guys could see that, and it's gonna be sweet. Billygear.shop is live with uh, some sweet designs that say Willy Gear and Will Survives. We've got a Skadoosh, we've got a Hoop Dog, a Wabam Energy Ball, all types of cool stuff. If you guys want to go check it out, the, uh, the profits from this are going to go into helping me make design and make really sweet pants the pants are actually going to be so cool i've been wanting to design my own pants for the last year and a half being out in the woods guys you need a nice pair of pants that you can hold a bunch of stuff they don't fall down they're waterproof they keep your legs dry they're baggy enough that you can do under layers durable enough that they don't get torn up on stuff or burnt and guys, trust me, I'm putting all my effort into making the nicest pair of pants ever. And I'm going to sell them for as cheap as I can. After the pants, I got ideas for all types of cool stuff. I appreciate you guys helping me out by, uh, by checking out this uh, new merch I've got set up. Billygear.shop. Ooh. And... This is the only time this is happening, but we're doing a giveaway. Every, anything you buy right now for the next, I think there's like 10 days left in the giveaway, uh, is going to enter you into a giveaway for a Suron electric bike. The homie that I'm doing the whole Billy Gear stuff with, his dad had a Suron electric bike that uh, he was just gonna try to sell. So we decided to just uh, give that away to somebody. Each dollar spent is one entry into the giveaway. So. You have a chance to win a bike, pretty cool. But guys, uh, in the last video, I was in a rush editing and I didn't get to read the comments. So now I'm gonna go through the last two videos and read some of your guys' comments. I think I'm just gonna do like uh, seven of the top comments, seven of the newest 
comments on both videos. That's an awesome plan for Frank. So awesome that you are putting Frank and what is best for him as the priority. So glad you will still be a part of his life through Lucky. I'm so happy that's the top comment and that that's what the majority of you guys are thinking. I appreciate you guys for not being too hard on me, giving Frank away and sharing the same perspective as me that that is the best life for Frank. Set up a rainwater catchment system. You will need it for the garden. So either start hauling water from town, getting it delivered, or build a simple reservoir. Love the content. Keep it up. Thanks. Waban. I should set up a rainwater catchment system. Haven't figured out how to do it. It has to be very strong. It can't just be posts because then if it snows, that's coming down. If I'm building something like that, I might as well make it a structure and have something under that if I'm building a nice roof. It'd be cool to buy a bunch of solar panels and power banks, get it all hooked up in a shed with a big roof, and then make that water collection and solar stuff. The problem is just then if it snows, I'll have to clear it off as opposed to waiting for that to melt. But guys, that is the best strategy for a water collection out here is it has to be only sloped a little bit and very strong so that snow stays up there, doesn't take out the um, gutter system I make or like fill up the barrel where I'm collecting the water and it can just stay up there and melt and drip down into it. Digging out, I'm trying to dig out a reservoir pond thing and currently I'm hauling water from town. I have options. We're here for you, Will. You should think of getting a P.O. box. We can send care packages once in a while. I have a few things I think you'd find very useful out there and they'd be used much better by you than my shelf. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm torn on that, on setting up a P.O. box. The issue with a P.O. box is I don't need anything. If I need something, I have the resources to get it. And so I feel bad when I receive stuff from people that they had just bought. Because in my mind, I'm like, oh man, you guys should have commented that I should buy that. And then if I think it's a good idea, then I'll buy it. And so I just feel a little bit bad when I receive stuff, new stuff. I think the idea of me getting stuff sent by people that have something that they don't use, I think that's a pretty cool idea. But the, the issue is that I would just get way too much stuff that I don't have room for and that I might not use either. If there's ever a situation where I'm like, guys, I need to get a stove. I'm looking for a stove, blah, blah, blah. I'll get like 10 stoves sent. Even if I tell you guys not to send stoves, I feel like, or anything for that matter. Or someone could like see that I got a hole in my boot or something like that. They send me a pair of boots, but I could already be planning on buying boots. It's just not the best system. It feels like a system set up for people that like having Christmas every day. And I don't necessarily like that. I don't know, bro. I feel like just the best thing. Why am I talking about this for so long? Best thing long term is to not do a P.O. box. I appreciate everybody that wants to send me stuff and help support. Thank you very much. Next next question. Why? I was talking about that one for a long time or what? Doing your thing and doing it well. Learning as you go. Your accountability, self-awareness, and ability to learn from mistakes are so commendable. Your plan for Frank sounds awesome. Lucky Thrives is great for taking Frank in and making a home for him. Thanks for the positive energy and always staying true to yourself. You deserve everything that good. Thank you so much. Okay, let's, let's read some of the newest comments. Yeah, bro, we all told you it was a bad idea from the jump. Hard-headed, still young. Uh, Richard. I've seen this comment a lot, everyone being like, everybody told you not to get a dog, everyone told you it was a bad idea. See, we told you, but I'm extremely happy I picked up Frank. You, get, The people that are commenting this 
are saying that they wish Frank was still in the chicken coop dying slowly. Great, great take, Richard. You're the man. Thanks for the don't click another video. Go do something. Going to grab my shower that I've been putting off. Let's go. Rice and chorizos. Okay. It's called sleep. Shit's crazy common down south. I don't even know. Get a central Asian shepherd dog known for fighting off bears and being low. Uh, th these uh, Pyrenees are built for fighting wolves and bears and protecting stuff. I'm not going to hold you. You cannot build. Willie is not a builder. Anyways, everybody worried about Frank. They don't realize you botched up Jesse's cabin. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I'm not a good builder. And uh, I built the these shelters, right? And I'm 8,500 feet in the air. And I still lived in it. All that means is that I'm less of a pussy than everybody else because I can live in shelters that aren't built good. So real gutta 74, you're a pussy. You're always going to get to work yet nothing really gets done. Nothing but half finished jobs. Do you seriously think you have a chance in Alaska? Ha 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 ha. You and them dogs will freeze. I love seeing these comments. Because this person's saying that I'm not getting anything done and I'm not getting to work while he's taking his time out of his day to comment on my YouTube video that he's watching. And he said, you always going to get to work. Yeah, nothing really gets done, which implies that he watches all of my videos. I have got a lot done in the last year. I could talk my shit, but let's just go to the next video. Franklin Thrives. Thanks for everything, Will. You saved this little dude's life. Lucky Thrives. Dude, thank you. It was a team effort. The reason Hoop isn't dirty is because he clearly has Labrador Retriever in him. Yes, in this video I said he was Lab. He looks like it for sure. They have two coat system that protects a natural oil that is water repellent. Hoop Dog is the man. Hoop Dog is the man. Yes, Hooper uh, has some Pyrenees in him. He's got the claws. But my guess is only like 25%, probably. I, I got to get like a, uh, get a DNA test for him. Dude, is there dog DNA tests? Bro, you're killing it. You motivated me to uh, leave Memphis and head out to Middle Tennessee and live off the grid. Thanks for constant inspiration, bro. Yes, that is, that made, these comments make me the happiest. I could really give two shits about people saying, uh, Will, you're the man. Uh, Will, you're so cool, blah, blah, blah. When I see a comment that says, you motivated me to head out to Middle Tennessee and live off the grid. It's the best thing ever. You talking about taking more pride in being clean is exactly all I wanted to hear. Listen, I get that you are living in the woods and you are building a compound and family. That shit is tough, but self-care is always going to be just as important to build upon just like your compound uh yeah self-care is always going to be just as important to build upon guys the thing is is i'm just working on a different type of self-care i'm making sure i'm somewhat clean guys i have not gotten sick once in the last year i've been kicking it in the mountains where Ski slopes are at. Not sick once. I cut myself all the time. Everywhere. I haven't gotten any infections anywhere. No health problems. I'm stronger and healthier than ever. So I do agree I can be more clean. But also, you guys have to agree that whatever I'm doing is working. 
I'm healthier than 95% of people. No infections or health problems in the last year and I've been living in the woods. Haven't even got a cold. Haven't even got a stuffy nose. Don't let the haters make me question myself. Doing amazing out there. Keep being you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I don't... I don't... Let haters... Make me question myself. I know deep down that I work as hard as I can to make a positive impact on this world. And I think... Into the future. I think 40 years down the line. So everything I'm doing now is just to prepare me to be the man that I want to be. Uh, 40 years down the line. And so... In thinking like that, I have to uh, do what I think is the right thing and work as hard as I can. And uh, if you do that, if you're working as hard as you can to do the right thing, and you know you're working as hard as you can, putting in the work, then uh, it's really hard for uh, people to affect you. Let's read some of the newest comments. These are always the most fun. You need to get some effing Carmex, dude. You need chapstick badly. Has nothing to do with how high up in the mountains you are. Just wear chapstick every day, bro. Because of the way it looks or what? Because uh, I'm not bitch enough to cry about a split lip. Wow. I can't believe that's the newest comment and it's so dumb. Every day. Because I feel fine. I don't, uh, I don't have a hurt lip and I'm like, oh no, oh no, I'm so sad. Uh, if anything, you should have said, I need to start drinking more water, but you just care about how I look. If you are a dude, that's, wait, we're in 2024. It's not weird, but it's weird. It's healing slowly, but surely, uh, cause I've upped my water intake. But yeah, I'm not a, uh, a baby. You the man, Will. My only advice uh, with the pups would be not let them ride in the back of the truck. Seems like a great idea, but I learned from experience it's a terrible idea. They will get ejected if I ever... Ooh, Yeah, that'd be bad. But I have a, uh, I have a topper on my truck bed. Praise the dogs with pets and love when they listen to your commands. It is better than treat training, so when you don't have a treat on hand, they still feel rewarded for listening. Yeah, I kind of do a mix of both. Because I just don't have treats on me all the time. Like if I'm up at Jesse's and I don't have treats, I just... Do -do 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 -do. But yeah, that's good advice. Ooh, you bet I could find a real dog food company to sponsor my vids. I'll look into that. That's, that's pretty smart. Well, guys... Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm probably going to start only reading the top comments and not the newest comments i really enjoy seeing hate because i like speaking my mind on hate and i like proving people wrong but probably not for the best i appreciate you guys a ton i'm sorry this video was a little shorter or it might not be too short actually i talked for a long time but holy moly yeah that's all i got snow's melting Days are getting longer. I got, I got plans. Cameraman's gonna be back in three days. It's game over for the Willie haters. <laughs> All right, guys. You see this, this energy and life that I got in me. I'm gonna focus all of the energy. <laughs> Ah, into my hand and now it's in my hand are you guys ready that one was magical you felt that I hope you did I hope you have a beautiful day I hope you have a beautiful week And I'll see you next time. Willie out. Hey. Hey. Hey.
Hey, I make the glizzy flip, wrap the string around the hood, wait for a tug and reel it in. Hey, I reel it in, looking out for bears, cause Willie really eat the same food as him. I should probably buy what's though, but I can't find one on Craigslist and they expensive at the store. I'm in my bag, looking for the silky and the axe. I'm in the river, flipping rocks and stones. I'm looking for crawdads.